friends and family or still alive. Uh, and we're, we're born <laughs> and we're in social distancing, isolation, whatever you want to call it. How long has it been since you said we're what? still alive? I mean, every day I kind of am like, we're still alive, personally. But anyway, we live in South Korea, the home of the mukbang. So we figured we've never done this before. Why the heck not? So we've ordered some delicious Korean food and Clint's pronunciation is better. So what did we order? Uh, we ordered jajangmyeon. Mm. Yeah. What did I get? You got uni jajangmyeon. Which is the ground meat, not ground. the cubed meat. Mm -hmm. Just a personal texture preference. Both are delicious. I just like this one better. And you got? I got uh, yatna jajangmyeon, which is like old school. I don't know what makes it old school. Maybe it's just more mature than other jajangmyeon. It's going to be a long video of that. So we ordered it, not realizing it's from the places that uh, give you their own dishes. And then when you finish, you put them all dirty in a bag, put the bag outside your door, and they'll come pick up the dishes later. So fantastic. fantastic. All I have to do is clean the banchan dishes. What do we have for banchan today? Um, Mandu. Yeah. For two. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, if you get to do it, I <laughs> surely get at least one. So we have. My favorite, I think this is buchu. We don't remember because we mixed them in a bag in the freezer and I threw out whatever they are. So the bags. The bags. No, I meant I threw out whatever tells you. Anyway, buchu mandu. Yeah. And jampong. Which is so good. It's like, like spicy seafood. Smoky, seafood. like barbecuey kind of tasting. And then we've got kimchi from our Korean family. Mm -hmm. We've got some. Two types of pickle kimchi and my favorite radish kimchi. And this one is Chinese radish. Yes. Kimchi. Because this is technically a Chinese dish, right? Yeah, this is Chinese food in Korea. Mm -hmm. And we both have a beer. Mm -hmm. I'll be drinking a cloud. By the way, we're doing the front facing camera because I'm just too lazy to set anything up. So That's quality right. is probably not great. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say, right? The kids. Oh, John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It just looks like. Mm -hmm. it just looks like water with a hint of beer. <laughs> just the way we like it. Actually, oh, we're not finished. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to this. If you don't like slurping sounds or like watching people eat, don't watch this video. Right. Turn it off. Also, let's be like YouTubers. Uh, we've got um, a cool dessert coming up at the end, so you should stick around for that. <laughs> Make sure you stick around till the end. Like and subscribe. I need paper towels. Yeah. Thank you. We are super professional, guys. So anyway, we were supposed to be home this year. And it's very likely that we're not going to be home next year. Yeah. Thanks for all you people not wearing your masks back in the States. It's not super necessarily helpful. you. Not people, you guys. But we're not friends with stupid people. So it's not you guys. But everyone else who's like, mm, I'm going to have to wear a mask. Freedom. We, yeah. It's really strange, too, because we, we wear a mask every day, like just every day. You know, we work at a school, we teach kindergartners. So we're wearing masks at school for six or eight hours a day. And we don't usually eat lunch at school, like the two of us. So we don't even take our masks off really for lunch. Like we're it's just, for a diet reason, not for like, yeah. we're scared of whatever anyway. But essentially, for eight straight hours, Monday through we're Friday, constantly we're wearing masks. masks. And, and yes, it's not fun to breathe in, no. and like, it's not comfortable, but you know what's not comfortable? More not comfortable is being stuck in the hospital for two or more weeks and breathing through a ventilator, so right. don't be idiots. 
rant over. Well, I'm I mean, sure there's more rants to come. Like, but honest, anyway, yeah. so you know, we miss you guys, and the point of that whole ramble was that we haven't made a video in a long time because it's just got really hard to. Yes. What's the word I'm looking for? Edit. Oh. Ooh, also fun thing. English is kind of crap now because we speak in very simple sentences all day to little ones. Uh, so <laughs> it's really hard to find not even high level words sometimes, just like, you know, normal everyday yeah. words. So we kind of talked about this, maybe not you and I, but I'm going to eat while you're talking. Talk or with Mark or somebody, but. Um, when we moved out here, like I kind of expected, you know, 24 hour nonstop adventure, right? Mm -hmm. Like, but what happens is you just start living out here and after four to five years, it just became normal life and normal life doesn't really seem interesting to me. I don't watch vloggers on YouTube because people's normal lives are just, I mean, they're not really that interesting most mm -hmm. of the time, right? So we were just doing boring things. We go to work and we come home. And right now, that's like literally all we do. Right. We go to work, we come home. Right. How is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so many noodles. We didn't even tell what this was. Oh, go ahead. Oh, eat while you're talking. It's a black bean sauce. <clears throat> I don't really know exactly how it's made. Black beans. I'm assuming pureed or mashed down. They add some onions and some pork. Pork. Mm -hmm. And carrots and sometimes there's potato. Yeah. It's just like sweet and savory and really yummy. I don't yeah. have anything I could really describe it or like compare it to back home. Maybe like a braised like like a Sunday roast, kind of? Yeah, maybe, like that kind of like gravy flavor. Super mm -hmm. salty, a little sweet, really like deep flavor. Shout out to our Korean family, Jay and Sienna. Yep. They always hook us up with kimchi every time we see them. Which kind of like the Korean tradition, I think. Like, <laughs> you often send your friends and family with kimchi. You share kimchi, that's the thing. We don't have kimchi, so we don't share with anybody. Right. But we do have friends that share with us. Her mom made this radish kimchi, I think. That's right. And it's so good. It's one of my favorite kimchi's. Not just like radish kimchi. Radish kimchi is one of my favorite kimchi's. It wasn't when we first came out here, and now it is. But her mom's radish kimchi is delicious. So thanks, he and his mom. Do you know the word for radish kimchi yet? We say it so many times at school. Isn't it just mo kimchi? Mo kimchi? Mm, no. no way. What is it? The little Korean lesson, guys. I don't remember. Gok dookie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gok dookie. This one. Mm -hmm. This is one thing. I really, it's very easy to learn Korean foods because you, you gotta eat I, well not only you gotta eat but you, everything is about food out here like, yeah I mean I think that's normal in most cultures everything is about food but I mean maybe but it's like really about food in Korea sharing a meal yeah literally sharing a meal like everybody eating from the same bowl and everything is pretty common mm -hmm. but not right now because <laughs> coronavirus shouldn't be right now but well Surely there are still people out there. I mean, mm -hmm. but yeah, this is pretty typical spread too for just a Korean meal. It's a really one-sided conversation. But what's new with us besides not coming back to America as planned mm -hmm. and? <laughs> not coming back for the foreseeable future because my job is teaching and right now I can't get a job. Yeah. And you are what? Uh, Do you want to talk about this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
keep it under wraps. I don't think it's a secret. I mean, no, I'm just uh, studying coding and programming. So as far as I can tell, that's kind of a future-proof job, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean... I mean, until the robots take over, but... But that's yeah. the point, right? Like, yeah. I want to be the guy that's like deprogramming robots. I want to fight against Skynet when Skynet, that is like, that's the dream, right? Take down Skynet. Oh, Terminator, right? Wow. Oh! Cool. <laughs> yeah, way to go. Oh, yeah. Did you already drink? No. My beer Bombay. is Chinese, by the way. Qingtao Chinese beer, since we're having Chinese food. Oh, I like Korean. the theme. This is my favorite Korean beer, by the way. <clears throat> and I know you can get it in the States, right? Are and you like, asking me? Yeah. I don't know. I swear I've seen this in the States, in like the Asian marts and stuff. Surely, right? Like, so if you ever come across it, it's probably crazy expensive in the States. Super cheap here. This one, I know for sure you can get in the States. Mm -hmm. like I used to see it all the time at the liquor store. Um, what else is new? We are teaching at a new school this year. It's had its challenges. It's like a new, new school. So Brand it's not just new to us, it's just new in general. So, yeah. but we're navigating that one day at a time because we are very grateful to have jobs when we know that other people aren't yeah. working or can't work. But we're also not, I don't know. I think it's naive sometimes to say that because we're also human beings who don't deserve to be overworked or treated or taken advantage of just because of a difficult situation. So mm -hmm. grateful to have jobs. I'm not going to put up with all the annoyances that come with that. What else? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm a little too cold now. Sorry. I mean, they're not like disgusting, but. Oh, we got an air fryer. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been like, using it a lot. I feel like we're in the 21st century now that we got an air fryer. <coughs> we both? What? We need a, an Instapot now. No, thank you. Why? These things are amazing. I mean, I'm sure they are, but it's summertime now, so we just eat cold noodles and. The next one of these. Man. If you get the chance, <clears throat> if anybody ever gets the chance to travel again, I don't, I don't know what the future holds, you should come to Korea and just try everything. I, have you had any bad Korean food? No. I've had some texturally questionable Korean food. Like what? <clears throat> Ooh, now you put me on the spot. Mm. Oh, I literally just thought of it and then it went away. Mmm. Mm. I really like live octopus. It's not alive. Mm -hmm. It's just still moving because science. I don't know. Anyway, it's good tasting, but it's very chewy. And it's, I mean, it's not even the squirming in your mouth that like gets me. It's just very. There's something else like that that I can't think of. I just like, I don't know. Anyway, mm, what else? Oh. Bundeggy. Oh, that's gross. I can only kind of say that's gross because I've only consumed the soup with the bugs in it. I drank it, but I drank around the bugs. Yeah, it's actually silkworm. Cuba, mm -hmm. like this big and it just smell awful. Awful. Sure. Everything about them is awful. Yeah. But you gotta try it, right? I mean. Yeah, and we did. Well, Clint did. He ate two. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I mm -mm, ate two. I'm done. I'm done. Sure. I drank the soup, night, but like it's whatever. And yeah. the taste was enough for me to be like, no, I don't want to pop a silkworm pupa in my mouth. No thanks. They do pop too. Yeah, I know. Ooh. 
What else? What else? What else? Updating you on not really anything worth updating you on. New school. New house. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Much I better. Can tell that this Maybe we'll do a house tour someday. We didn't do one in the last place. <clears throat> it was so small, but it was still bigger than the place we had lived in previously. Which was but our last school was real shady and was like, oh, you're a couple? Yeah, we'll get you a couple of housing. Yeah. Oh, we found you this really great place and this really good location. It was pictures a great location. With, with location. Here's some pictures. Oh my God, this place is so big, amazing. And then we get there and of course it's not. It's like a shoebox. It's not the actual yeah. apartment they were showing us pictures of. Those are just pictures of an apartment in that building. It was an office tell, which it was enough space for two people, but it just was crappy because it was like, well, they set a certain expectation right. in it. with the pictures that were so nice. And that place was clean and nice and like newer, but it was a shoebox, it was a loft apartment. But this place has two rooms, a whole living area, a kitchen, a bigger bathroom. So it's been much more comfortable. It's a little bit older. I mean, I don't care. This is not my forever home, but well, I mean, I hope it's not seriously. America, where are your masks? Also, don't put that out in the universe. Like, just mm. don't, don't tempt anything to happen here. But yeah, we've got a bedroom now, and Miso has a bedroom, mm -hmm. so that's real nice. I love Korea. Don't get me wrong, but I miss my home. Oh my I don't want to go home. But well, we talked about this. No shade to Korea. We talked about this so many times. Like, I love Korea. <clears throat> But just like they did with the housing, like they set an expectation and then it didn't follow through. So in that house, we were always kind of annoyed. We had an expectation all last year that we would finish and we would be coming home. So when we didn't come home, like... Not just even an expectation. We had plane tickets. We had Miso's plane That's true, tickets. yeah. We had sold everything that we owned. Yeah. We would gotten rid of everything. We were two weeks out. And then we, we realized, bridges. We, yeah, we were like, we're out of here. No, we didn't do that bad. Um, and then that didn't happen, so that's fine. We've moved past it, obviously. We're not bitter. Um, I don't think about it every single day when I wake up in the morning. I don't think about it every single second of every single day anymore. So, you know, moving on. Um, yes, moving on. What else? And it really has been something to try and like get past is that feeling of being depressed and annoyed. We sat down to do These like- These are not even cold, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, not even hot, whatever. We kind of sat down to do a meditation the other day and I told you this, like I just had to remind myself that you're where you're supposed to be. You're so new age. We were so dumb to do a meditation in there. Here's a potato, by the way. It's really good. Thanks. Uh, but if we were anywhere else, we wouldn't be who we are, right? Like, oh, potatoes are good. Yeah, potatoes are really good. Next time you should order this. They one. roasted them before they mixed them in. Which is not a very Korean thing to do. Like, I guess that's why it's old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's my point. Is that but I don't want this whole video to be downer so no 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 of course not like um what have we been watching on Netflix lately oh that's really good one. Um, what have I been watching on Netflix or are we together I think we watch different things on Netflix would you ever watch Netflix without me mm -hmm. Did you say, mm. would I ever? When? When do I ever? At times. Duh. What have we watched lately? This been, oh, Snowpiercer is good. Oh, Snowpiercer is so good. It's a Korean director. Well, the guy who won the Oscar. Well, what's his name? who made the movie? She well, he wrote the screenplay for the, for the TV movie. show, too. Oh, oh for the really? TV show. It says... Created by? or No, it says screenplay by... Anyway, yeah, it's super good. Mm -hmm. And it's got Hamilton in it. 
He doesn't play Hamilton. Do you remember who he plays in Hamilton? Jean something. Lafayette. The Frenchman, but also he plays... Lafayette and Jefferson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he plays Jefferson. Mm. Thomas, that is. Hamilton was really good. Yeah, we watched the... Was it the Disney? Mm -hmm. Disney Plus version. I guess it's not a version. They streamed it on their site. That was really good. Mm -hmm. Not on Netflix, but just in general. RuPaul's Drag Race and Canada Drag Race and All Star Drag Race. Mm -hmm. Literally getting us through COVID 19. <laughs> I'm going to say this, and I'm speaking as <clears throat> it's not a competition, but one of us is a bigger fan of Drag Race than oh, the other. I thought you meant Drag Race, but it's literally it's a competition. <laughs> so I'm going to say this, and this is for a very niche audience that may be watching this. Nobody's watching this. Anyway, those Canada drag queens <clears throat> just need to step it up, man. Oh, God. That episode last night was... <laughs> what do they need to step up? No, I can't say that. <laughs> You watch the show. Time. You know what they need. You know what they need to step up. Anyway, yeah, Drag Race. We also finished watching season three of The Sinner. Mm -hmm. And that show is so good. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of an American version of Luther. I don't know if you watched Luther, but <clears throat> that's uh, like a British crime show with Idris Elba. It's freaking amazing. But this one is. Really good. The center is like the American version of it. It's that American. It's the Ooh, American version. That's good. I just got a bunch of sauce. Mm, also on Netflix. Never Have I Ever? Was that what it was mm -hmm. called? I watched it. And yeah. then I was like, Clint, I think you would really like this. So I watched it all over again with Clint. I never watch shows twice. Like, I just don't enjoy that. I mean, except for like The Office and Parks and Rec and, you know, amazing shows. I watched this one again with him and he really liked it. That so. very funny. Anybody out there, watch yeah. it. It's so good. Um, we've been watching a lot of documentaries. Which, what is, what's been the best so far? Mm. Or not the best, but like... Oh, this is an easy answer. Unsolved Mysteries. Unsolved Mysteries is back, and like that just takes me back to childhood. Mm -hmm. I can't like every time we watch it, the the music starts. Can you hear the theme song right now? I got three, two, one, go! Action. Not really. Three, two, Can you do one, it? Go! I'm thinking about it too much. I can't do it right now. Yeah. Oh. And All I can think of is "Are You Afraid of the Dark?" like music. <clears throat> Unsolved Mystery is good. It's different than the old one, but so good. Yeah, it's less like uh, less reenactment and more mm -hmm. kind of just like interview, talking head, documentary style. It's really nice. Less talking head and more just the people telling their story, right? Oh, talking yeah, head I guess is like right. what the guy used to do when he was like, so and so had no idea what was going to happen, right? No, talking head is literally what they do in RuPaul's Drag Race when they're sitting in the confessional room. Oh, well then lots of talking head, but... Uh, I and said English was not my best. We watched anymore. an episode of the new Twilight Zone. Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah. Would recommend. Oh, and we watched on Apple TV. What was it? Oh my god. What was that show? Midnight. Shama. I honestly don't even know how to say his name Shama. correctly anymore because I'm. M. Night Shyamalan. No, it's. Shyamalan. No! It's M. Night Shyamalan. It's M. Night. Oh, yeah, it is M. Night Shyamalan. Mm. But it's hard to say, so I just usually butcher it. What is the name of that show? I don't the know. Name of the I don't know, but you can look it up online. It was so good. Um, so that was good. awful. It was weird. What? I, it's awful that we can't think of it. Like, what? It's just one word. It's like stranger or... Stranger. 
Is it stranger? No. <laughs> so anyway, it's good. Um, what else? You should actually, you don't have to look it up. You can just put the name of it in the description below this video when you upload it. Okay. <laughs> what? I mean, if I even edit this video and upload it, it's gonna be a miracle. So, I don't know. What have you been doing this for? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. You know what I'm really sad that isn't coming back and maybe never will come back now, thanks to Corona? Great British Bake Off. Mm -hmm. Now, people know a lot of celebrity ones now. Yeah. But that's not the same. Really? Mm-hmm. They do like stand up to cancer ones. So, we'll see. I'm in my PJs, by the way, you guys. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm getting comfy. Yeah, it is a really rainy day today too, so mm -hmm. I need to get all gussied up, all right? <coughs> you like that word, gussied up? Sure. It's a good word. Uh huh. <laughs> anyway. See your face when you can brag. Um, <clears throat> you don't listen to podcasts. But I, I do. I listen to podcasts that you listen to. Well, because I planned them all and taking a shower and you're forced to listen to them. What podcasts are you listening to right now? Mm, I really like the Conan. I think it's just called Conan. There's not another name for it, is it? Oh, yeah. Team Conan, Conan O'Brien needs a friend or something. Else. Oh, yeah. Conan. That's really good. Um, I did not think I would like it. I mean, I love Conan, but... I didn't think I was gonna like like that podcast, but it's just easy to listen to. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, my favorite so murder. Really good. I mean, that's just like I think everybody listens to that. Mm. What's and, that one you've been oh, to Overheard. Like it's the National Geographic one. Overheard. Which, mm -hmm. It's like twenty or thirty minute little podcast episodes about just like cool historical things or cool science things like I don't know it's just cool but they're like produced really well they're fast paced they're why is it called boring. order it's like um H -E -A -R -D? I feel like I'm being interviewed <laughs> huh h-e-a-r-d yeah H -E -A -R -D? it's like stories that have been overheard in their like newsroom work rooms whatever mm -hmm. like it's just like people they work with really? sharing stories or like them going in depth about a story that's been overheard but maybe not talked about in the magazine or hmm. is it even a magazine anymore? I don't know. National Geographic? Yeah. Surely, right? I don't know. I feel like print publication is. <clears throat> Gone. Mm -hmm. Forever. Evolving. Hmm. Typically, um, web publishing is printing. I mean. Right. <clears throat> um... We've been killing it at Crosswords lately. That's true. You subscribe to the New Yorker. And then we started doing the Crosswords together. Yeah. And we're getting good. Would recommend. Crosswords mm -hmm. are very fun. The hard levels are like taking us about an hour, hour and 20 minutes to finish. The medium one. I mean, we finished a medium one in 20 minutes the other day. Personal best. This is like, this is very braggy. Yeah, crosswords are hard, <laughs> and I can do them now, so. Fair point. Hashtag bragging. Fair point. Mm. Plus, like, it's not just like, I used to buy People magazines all the time just for the crossword in the back, but like, <laughs> pop culture crosswords are, they're fun, I'm not knocking them. I would still do a People's Crossword puzzle in a heartbeat. But the New Yorker crossword puzzles are like legit. Are they the New York Times? I highly doubt it. But I'm not ready for that level yet. You know what I realized? Hmm. I don't really think I know much about pop culture you anymore. You don't. I constantly tell you things, you know. Like, oh, really? But like even when we watched um, The Masked Singer, 
I barely Ooh, knew. Also a great show. Yes. I barely knew who some of those people were. Like, I just didn't recognize them. The clues didn't make sense to me. Right. I if I was writing about crosswords, you kind of seem like you're like, mm, I'm kind of elite now. And I don't no. even really know, like, about pop culture. <laughs> that, was, that was actually being self-deprecating there. So... What was that comedy special we watched with um, the girl from, or the woman from uh, the show? Like Me? Yeah, yeah. Please Like Me? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Hannah. Yes. Hannah, goo, 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 goo. Everyone at home is screaming at me right now. And my phone's right here and I can look it up, but I'm not going to. Hannah. She did that special a while ago, which you still haven't watched, and you need to, called. Started with an M. But I'll look it up. God. <laughs> you guys are really needy. Um. Anyway, she's a stand up comedian from Australia, right? She's Australian. New Zealand? No, she's Australian. Australish. New Zealish? Australish. I don't remember. Hannah Gadsby. Nanette was her first one. Phenomenal. And then Douglas was the one we watched the other day, and he was a fan too. She's yeah, yeah, she's funny. very funny. She would very recommend clever. that too, especially now when you need a laugh. So good. Yeah, really. Oh, speaking of not needing a laugh, but speaking of especially now, you've been <coughs> baking banana bread. Mm -hmm. ba -ba 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 Have you posted on Do you remember that? Wasn't that your favorite K-pop girl group? Whatever. Hello, what? Have you been posting your banana bread pictures on Instagram? Everybody is making banana bread. Yeah. Get on the trend, man. Hashtag banana bread. Isolation? It's not isolation. It's quarantine. Is it quarantine? Quarantine is when you might have come in contact with it and you're... Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm positive. Social distancing, that's what we're calling it. Quarantine is when you, you can't leave your, like, you can't leave your place. Right. What we're Quarantine practicing is, is social distancing. You and I? Mm hmm Well, I mean, most of the world. All I'm saying is, everybody's doing it. Why don't you? Your banana bread is really good. Mm-hmm. We are in our 30s, mid 30s. We've been drinking a lot. <laughs> True. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, man. No, not at all, but <laughs> I guess that is something that's new. It's actually not new. No. <laughs> it's real old news. Yeah. Mm hmm. Been really into, I, I've been really into everything lately. Bourbon's my drink, but lately I've been really loving some rum. Always love tequila. Not some of the smart things about not drinking until you're older. I don't have any bad tequila experiences from being young, so I love tequila. And he kind of loves it now, too. Yeah. I do like some tequila. Probably not blue colored ones, though, right? God. Um, <clears throat> we've been drinking some wine. I've been into that. Well, but like everything, drinking. drinking wise, that I'm into, he eventually comes on board. Bourbon. Never liked bourbon. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. This is the best alcohol in the world. And nowadays, you really love it. Yeah. That is true. <coughs> mm. You know what I don't love anymore? I don't know if I ever actually really loved it. Soju. Soju is awful. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Soju is so good. I mean, if you know how to hold your liquor, I guess. I don't. I don't. Fine. I know. You really don't. You do. 
but you don't I just will not drink past a point like I'm just like mm -mm. like I don't want to deal with this in the morning this doesn't feel great anymore I'm done like I will not get like I don't know what the kids are saying I won't get shitty Whoa. are the kids saying that I don't know <laughs> I don't know you can say that on YouTube on what YouTube mm. but uh you you definitely you're that like oh I'm having fun this feels so good more 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 and I'm just like oh I'm having fun this feels good let's stop and just ride this out and then if like two hours from now I feel like I'm sober again I'll have a little more but right. not too man nope gotta go all out from the beginning mm -hmm. no shame but I have proven my love to this man <laughs> more than once after a soju night Cleaning, cleaning up. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> we don't need to, but we are gonna. We should not. No, I'm not going to. I'm joking. <clears throat> I was never like that before coming to Korea. Mm -mm. Never. The drinking culture is just really different. And we were drinking with our gym. Which is something you may or may not notice. Maybe not anymore. But I lost some weight here in this Korea. Mm -hmm. And then I'm getting a little bit of it back because we can't go to the gym now. I mean, we can. Gyms are open again, but <clears throat> we work with kids. It feels kids. dangerous. It feels slightly more dangerous to us because we're foreigners. And if we get sick, yeah, we don't really know what that entails. Is I mean, the healthcare right? aspect of it would be fine. We yeah, taken yeah. care of. Oh, for sure. But like job but, security. Yeah. What does it mean for our jobs? What does it mean for the people that we work with? Mm -hmm. So other foreigners that we work with, like right. we know what a scary situation it is. I don't want to put anybody else in that situation. So right. we try to be super careful. So we've been working out at home. Getting back into it is hard. Some people really love working out at home. I'm not one of those people. I like to go somewhere with the purpose of I have to go here and work out and I'll do my hour or whatever and I'm out but when I'm at home I'm just like mm. there's the like rum and tequila bottle sitting there mm -hmm. while we're trying to work out I'm full I'm full enough to where we can try this too full. Are you gonna like and this has been smash locked. cut? Or are you just gonna grab it? Just grab it. I'm not editing this, guys. So you're gonna have to sit through like awkward silences. That's what a mukbang is, though. Nobody edits that stuff. I'm sure really? people do. I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Okay. You wanna tell the story of this? I don't really know. You read the article. So, <clears throat> in 2000. Um, Not important. Just trying to help you move the story in along. In 2004, Kellogg's in Korea. Imagine, right? 2004. <laughs> Let me take you back to a time. Oh my God. 2004 must have been great compared to 2020. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Was it? Did anything bad happen? This is not Earth's best year, y'all. Definitely not America's best year. I said I was through. That was a lie. Okay, 2004. Anyway, Kellogg's, Korea. Kellogg's in Korea uh, ran a contest to see who would be the new president of Kellogg's because in Korea, as in most like Eastern Asian countries, everything has a mascot. So a really popular cereal in Korea is um, chocolate checks. So, and I would venture to say it's not like the chocolate checks in America. No, that's no, like no. the checks itself is made of chocolate, but out here it's like coated the, in the a checks chocolate, is chocolate, like candy, and like a coating yeah. kind of thing. Right. Ganache almost. Uh, mm -hmm. so. Anyway. Anyway, in two thousand four, Kellogg's in Korea. <laughs> 
<laughs> held an election of sorts. Yeah, an election of to sorts decide to decide on their new mascot. No, no, no. To decide who would be the president of Kellogg's. And the choices you had were uh, Chocolate Check, I can't remember his name. Yeah, the name. And a very peculiar Check who is green onion flavored. Mm -hmm. And they thought, like, oh, you know, kids hate green onions in Korea, so they're going to obviously vote for the chocolate check. It's going to be a landslide it's win. Be a landslide victory. Kind of a, they were setting know, it up. They were like, okay. Like, yeah, kind of a wag the onion. dog situation. Right. You know what I mean? So, anyway, but they failed to account for... The internet trolls. Yeah, they failed to account for the internet trolls who basically stuffed the ballot box with uh, votes for the green onion flavor. So the green onion flavor ended up winning at the end of the election, but Kellogg's pulled some strings. They started counting mail-in and phone-in votes, mm -hmm. and the chocolate check won, and it kind of sparked made this some whole, people angry. Yeah. Like, so every, <laughs> well, I think every day angry. on the election day, every year on the election day in Korea, usually like... Um, Green Onion Checks is trending on Twitter in Korea because people have been waiting so long for this. So anyway. They're like, never forget the day yeah. Green Onion Checks lost. Unfairly. So, uh, so fast 16 forward to years, 2020. Yeah, 16 years later, here we are, and they Good finally, job. finally put out the Green They onion came out with the whole announcement of like, we're sorry, we understand, like whatever, like we've made a mistake. And, and now after, you know, years of demand we're finally doing it so it came so out we buried this lead and, and we were like cool let's get a box and then i like looked up it was supposed to come out like on a certain day and then i looked up just on the internet kind of like randomly like oh you know how's what's the deal with this and it was like oh it sold out in like two days online we were like okay so we're not getting boxes cool cool, cool. And then we were randomly walking through a gs supermarket the other day uh, to be clear we weren't randomly walking we were walking normally <sighs> Clint really hates when people use the word randomly, like when it doesn't mean randomly. It makes sense in that situation. Well, I literally don't care. <laughs> um, anyway, so, <laughs> so we were just walking past and we just zeroed in on this green box of Kellogg's and we both just yeah. froze and we were like, oh, what? Yeah. And there were four boxes left, so we grabbed one. Yeah, so we're going to try it on camera for you guys. It's not going to be good. This one says Chex Pamat, which mm -hmm. is like it green onion flavor. Chexu. Pama. Chick Sapama. Chick Sapama. Yeah. Anyway. And this is the guy who was supposed to be president, but instead this guy won. And you can tell he's not happy about it. Mm -hmm. So So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna just try it dry. Yeah. Which is more or less how they eat cereal out here. Usually, yeah. Especially like sugar cereal. No smell. And then we're gonna try it with some milk. We're gonna eat it the traditional way. And then probably this stuff might go in the trash. I don't know. Yeah. You can tell from the picture there is like this anything. green onion coat on it. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna pour a little. What if it just tasted like chocolate and they were like trolling us? Oh, that'd be that would be the ultimate okay. turn around this. Yeah. Oh, so this one is not. Wait, I thought it was coated, but it's not coated. It is coated. There's like a candy in there to it. I mean... What? It's like, um... You know when like, people make that savory Chex Mix? Like, yeah. It's like that, but like a little sweet. Which kind of Korea. Korea though, yeah. Every snack food is at least a little sweet. So this is just kind of tastes like, um, this just kind of tastes like sour cream and onion chips. Yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say it's good, but I also wouldn't say it's bad. I, I make a great food critic. <laughs> My column would. I literally forgot the English word again. It would. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter. You get it. Okay. Milk. Fridge milk. Yeah. 
here I am still eating them. Should we share this? So, okay. I did so enough, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, ooh, so, ooh, ooh, Korean lesson. Ooh, you means milk. Ooh, you. In Korean. Do you mean soy milk? What? It's very funny and it's easy to remember because do you mean soy? <laughs> uh huh. Keep telling us. It's super interesting. you milk your own cereal. Do you means soy and uyu means milk. So do you uyu means no, soy you, milk. You don't even know. <sighs> uyu do you no, means soy milk. No, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. I literally that just forgot how to milk. say it. Okay. The question I is... Up. a story, man. I was trying to. The right. question is, do you like do you? He cracks this joke to his it's kids. That's hilarious. And none of them laugh because their dads have probably already said it to him. There's also the Korean word for fish bones is gashi. So what did the fish say when he lost all of his bones? Rira. No, I'm not going to do this for you. <laughs> you, can, you can tell him by yourself. Just say I don't know. What did he say? Oh, you struck the I'm unsure. Like okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. He said, oh my goshi. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try this with some milk. No, thank you. That's not, oh my god. I'm not hard. <laughs> what? It makes it more oniony. Oh my god. I'm gonna let it soak and I'm gonna drink the milk though. What do you think the milk's gonna taste like? Oh man. You guys remember our snacks giving? I don't remember. remember snacks giving. I guess that's kind of a mukbang. I don't know. I want to find something to like about this. No, no, no. Oh man. It's not even that strong of an onion taste, but it's enough. I don't care for it. What could you compare it to? I mean, it tastes like green onions, like a really subtle green onion. Which mm. I beer after my savory cereal. I know, but you gotta keep going for it, don't you? You know what you it's could probably good. do? Get some checks at home and put some onion powder Shake it up, get it nice and coated, and then Don't pour some that. milk on Don't it. Do that. Yeah, do it Ooh. because it's going to be the closest approximation to what this is, I think. I think it would be more oniony than what this is. Why am I still eating this? I That's the genius. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. President Green Onion. Are you just like putting it on like, oh, this is so terrible? Yeah. I really don't like this. How can anybody like this? Is that what's happening? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Yeah, we should get. Oh, we should take this to our kids tomorrow for work. Yeah, we're not really gonna throw it out. What a waste. Tell them it's tell them it's green tea. Green tea in Korean is nokcha. Nokcha. You always say your Korean words very quietly. Yeah, because I am very, I'm not confident at all. Just, just go for it, man. <clears throat> and how many times have we been in a taxi? And they say, oh, where are you going? And I say in Korean, and they were like, what? So I say one more time, and I slow down, and I like really over enunciate. What? So then I just look at Clay and go, can you just say it? And then he says it, and they're like, oh, 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 oh. And we said the exact same thing. I, yeah, I can't explain that. That is so awful. So there's one more thing in the fridge that we can try that will not be awful just to get this taste out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. Freezer. You said fridge. Oh, that's good. I forgot about this. Um, mm. yeah, purple. 
So the other day, I went to go get marshmallows because I think you guys probably saw on Instagram. But they have Choco Ritz out here. Maybe in America too, I don't know. Choco Ritz. So I went and bought marshmallows because I was like, duh, s'mores. I love s'mores. If you know me, you know this. So we s'mored them and they were delicious. But <laughs> it's a verb. It's a noun. It's probably an adjective. I went to the snack shop across around the corner to get marshmallow because I knew they'd be there. And then they had all their ice creams out and I was like, ooh, what's new? Gogula ice cream. They call these ice cream, but I'm pretty sure it's just a popsicle. Goguma. Oh. I, yeah, oh, I just sorry. I was, yeah. Woo. Goguma is sweet potato in Korean. Korean sweet potatoes are not like American sweet potatoes. No, they are no. delicious, but they don't taste the same. They are purple on the outside, and they are very bright yellow or orange on the inside. Hence. Um, I said let's be YouTubers. That's what they do. So we're gonna try it. It's gonna be too cold. We should have thought this through. I did not know it tastes like frozen sweet yeah. potato. Yeah. I read, you know those sweet potatoes you can buy that are like pre-cooked? Oh, just smells like Oh my god, that's good. When you smell these, they smell like sweet potato baby food, baby food puree. It's exactly what they smell like. Like a cinnamon. Keep, just wait for it. It gets like really creamy and vanilla y at the end there. It's good. There's something else in the middle. Is that real sweet potato? Anyway, love Korean sweet potato. You can buy them in the wintertime on the street. People just warm them up and they're so good and they're so warm and they're delicious because you're walking out in the cold and then you've got this nice warm potato to munch on. But I read that those same potatoes you can buy. Yeah, real sweet potatoes. It is. I'm a genius. Real, those real sweet potatoes you can buy like in the Roasted. plastic. <clears throat> but I heard if you freeze them and then eat them, that they're really good. I bet they just taste like this, but healthier, right? Because it's a real sweet potato, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. They're just so cold. Mmm. Want to buy? Yeah, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit though. Because I'm a genius. Mm, that second bite was not as good as the first. Really? Anyway, so <clears throat> that's our mukbang. Here we are for one more year. And I was all on that Instagram video when we announced it. I was like, we're coming home in a year. Don't you worry. And now, I mean, we go around those days just being like, so next year when we're still here, because that's just the reality. Yeah. I hope it's not. I hope things change, but I just, we've been going, what, the first cases showed up in Korea, in like China, I mean, whatever, like in six months ago. On late Friday. December was like the first reported ones in China. And then January 17th, was right? like the first Korea case. Um, and it just went from there, so. And from that day, maybe a couple days after, I think, masks were in place here. So we've been wearing masks for six months. Six months. Six months. Like it's already half yeah. a year. And I just don't see how it's going to suddenly all change and get better and everything's going to get back to normal in another six months. Like this has been the reality for six months. And I hope that things are changing and settling down quickly. But. Even if they, even if in the next three months things are kind of like shifting back to, I mean, not even normal because it's never going to be normal again. But I just don't see how it's feasible. I don't know. Things are much better here, knock on wood, than they are in the states. So while they might be getting better here, we can't realistically move back when like we said before my job is teaching and who knows if schools are going to open and even if they are open is that the safest place for kids and teachers to have to be i'm not really sure that's a whole that's a whole conversation for another video but and then you finishing your program and trying to get jobs 
from that? Are there even going to be jobs available at the time? Like, I mean, I know things are opening back up and businesses are opening back up and people are working from home and stuff, but... Anyway, that was it. Yeah. What did you think of the meal? Delicious. That's always good. I love this meal. Anyway, we'll do this again. If you guys like, like it or want to hear more of us ramble <laughs> for an hour and four minutes. Jesus Christ. We never take this long to eat a meal. No. no. Anyway. So, we really miss you guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have questions. Let us know if you want to see more videos. We got some requests videos. for this, okay? I will say that. Some people are like, hey, you need to make more videos. And we we're like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Because YouTube is, you know, it's not a 35-year-old's game. <laughs> but, uh... Not a young man. Not, not a young man. No, it is a young man's game. Yep. Anyway, yep. so... I don't know. Yeah. If you guys want us to, we'll do it. Anyway, we really love you. Mm -hmm. And Thanks for see watching. you next time. Bye.